Stand by for action. Oh, bloody hell, boogie, mate. Oh, gosh. Oh, come on, Andy boy. Oh, it bloody stings as well. Reet, I've just stopped for a bit of snap, lad. Aye, right, Casper, a bit of snap. It's just beautiful. I mean, you wouldn't believe, well, you would believe we're in the valleys of South Wales, but it's just gorgeous. Penny got a vow there, just peeking up. We came from over there, from over there. Heritage Centre, Blenavon. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're going to be heading up the little trackway along up there and over and along and down and back along the top over there. But yeah, it's amazing to think that this, this landscape isn't the natural landscape. This is all as a result of the, uh, the Industrial Revolution and the heavy industry. From the mining, the, the waste tips, the slag heaps, all man-made. Anyway, I want to finish off my snap and then crack on, lad. Right, we've had a snap and we're heading on up there. Steady plod along the side of the mountain. Still going up. I don't think there's far to go. Cause a beautiful breeze up here. Really nice. Woo hoo, baby. I think this is us at the top. Right, so this is a bridleway now. I've just tried riding it and it's a real pain in the ass. It's very tufty, holy, pretty hard going for the pedaling, so I'm gonna walk up this. It's easier. And then we should pick up a, another marked byway and then chuck a left. Wow, we've just gotta stop and take this view. That is absolutely stunning. Absolutely fantastic. Pen out mower, Penny Gadavar, Warren Var, Sugarloaf, Wowzers. Absolutely superb. Bloody gorgeous. Right then, peeps. That is a bridal way, believe it or not. And I've just pushed over that tuftiness, and it's a pain in the bloody ass. You can't ride it. And I come to this trackway here, which isn't the one I want. I've got to go straight on along the bridleway. So I'm gonna check memory maps and I'm gonna change my route because there's no way I'm pushing over that again because that is an absolute ball lake. And there's a fair old bit of it left. And I think the rest of it is gonna be the same anyway. So no, I'm having none of that shit. <laughs> so let's just check memory map and revise the route. Right, decision made. I'm not gonna uh, push through this bridleway crappage. I'd have to go over, I think it's somewhere over there, and then carry on. But no, I'm having none of that. And you can just see the Bristol Channel there. Huzzah, lovely. So I'm gonna follow this, pick up another track, down into the valley, and then eventually head off over there. It's gonna cut, cut a couple of miles off, but I'm quite, I can live with that, because I'm not pushing through that shite. I've had enough of that in my life. <laughs> right then, without further ado, let's get up there, boy. So we're actually heading for a, the next town along from Blenavon there. Is it Abasichen? 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 Well, that's the one we're heading for anyway. Drop down into there, then up the other side and start making his way back to the Blorange. This is more like, isn't it? Bloody lovely cracking view down there onto the uh, Bristol Channel 7 estuary. I don't know if you'll get that on the GoPro, but you've got the River Severn there, heading out down to uh, the open sea in Bristol. Right, so we just follow this all the way down now into Abersicken, however you pronounce it. If I got it wrong, I do apologise. So there, this is all, the, all downhill now into the town. And then uh, we'll start looking for my original route and going up the other side of the valley. All right, boys, are going up the other side of the valley. Tidy. <laughs> it is actually gorgeous around here. You won't believe you're in the Welsh Valleys. It's absolutely gorgeous. When you get off the beaten track, wonderful. Again, we're in no battery mode. And pedal this thing like a regular bike in most places when you don't need the power. All right, boys and girls, check that viewage. <laughs> that is lovely.
Right, that's the town of Aberthicken. Again, apologies if I got that wrong. Extreme river traverse. Oh, God, wetness. Where do we go? Where do we go? Ah, signage. I do like a bit of signage, me. Now I'm saying we're going to turn left or just follow it round to the left. Yes, we do. Extreme rock drop. Boof, boof. <laughs> Extreme river crossing. Awesome. Right. Down we go, boy. I'm glad I didn't wear my uh, new 510 Kestrel boots. I've been bloody crippled by now. Yeah, they've got to go. But if you want some MTB shoes, these things from Halfords are chuffing brilliant. 35 quid, comfortable as hell, SPD. Yeah, 25 quid, no, 35 quid. Absolutely superb, you don't even know you got them on. I wore them for the first time uh, when I did the Welsh North to South. Absolutely brilliant, no issues at all, so. That is my recommendation. Halfords MTB shoes, 35 quid. I'm a size 11, but I got a size 12 and these fit perfectly. Highly recommended. So we just follow this track all the way down into the town, then pick up uh, an old disused railway line, double back on ourselves, and then we head on up there. So scores on the doors, 11.4 miles and I've dropped one bar and I'm not using any assistance right now. All right, boys and girls, and fuck join in. <laughs> right, let's go and have a look, see what we can see. Right, so we're gonna head, follow this road down a bit, drop down, pick up an old railway line, follow it along a bit, and then we're gonna head on up and then across and heading off back to the Blorange. There you go. Abbasicken, I reckon, I don't know. River Seven. for the railway route now it's just down in the valley a bit so follow this a little, a little bit no I reckon I reckon we could get down here let's just check the map yeah follow this for a bit onto this metal road and we will turn left and we should pick up the railway track I think I hope right so we drop down here and then we'll pick up the uh, the railway walking route, cycling route, and then we took a right. We'll follow this for about half a mile or so and we'll pick a foot pick up a footpath on our left and then head up up the side of the valley and start making our way back to uh, the Blorange and Lanfoist. All right it's not far now and then we'll be looking for footpath on our left. Hey memory maps brilliant. 
Right, around there. I think this is it. Is it? Yeah, this is it. That's quite steep. I think I'll push down that. Right, we've got to go down there. Right, so we'll just get on the road, follow it up a bit, take the next right, and then we pick up a footpath and start going on uh, up the side of the valley. All right, we're gonna turn right here at a place called Weak Bridge. There we go, another place called Weak Bridge. Now, do we go down there? Let's just check the map. Yes, we do. Right, Bridleway, that looks very overgrown. Let me go and check it out. Right, that looks pretty grim up there. You can tell by the gate, it's not been used a lot and it's looking grim up there. But if I follow the road round, I should pick the Bridleway back up and cut most of that out. All right, let's give it a go. Right, so the Bridleway would have come up there through the undergrowth. I was hoping to pick it up here, but that's even worse going up there. So I'm gonna to have to check my route again and uh, have some kind of revision. I think I can follow it down a little bit on the little road, then pick up a track somewhere over there to take me up to where I want to go. But I'm not plowing through that crap, no way. That hasn't been used for forever. Anyway, right, let's get on. Right, run my diversion now. <laughs> I tell you, you get to see some amazing places on these rides. So just keep following this path, track, and then we should pick up a a byway junction and we'll turn right and start heading up bloody hell there uh, all good right not far now right then we go up now up there right we got some walk mode going on here because this is steep with loose rocks <laughs> It's bloody hard going. Anyway, we gotta go up to the top and then out onto the top. Get out onto the top and then chuck a right, chuck a left and then start heading for the blinds. It's bloody warm and this is tough going. I'll catch you at the top. Privately owned agricultural common. Don't say anything about e-bikes. We gotta go up there and that's pretty, pretty chuffing steep. All right, we're coming up the bridleway now. It's hot, it's tricky to ride. We're going up there nearly at the top and there is no shame in using walk mode. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to ride, more knackering to ride, so I thought bollocks. Get in walk mode. And I'm glad I'm doing this ride now because this is going to be major furnage once they come to life properly. Anyway, nearly at the top, let's walk it up there. <laughs> Huzzah! Pedalling! <laughs> right, we're looking for a track junction now. There's a signage. We're going to turn left and start heading off for the Blorange. All right, you still with me? Tidy. <laughs> right, we're at a place called Fords on the map. F-O-R-D-S, Fords. And this is what Fords looks like. 
signage bike so we've come from over there from over there Blenavon is just over there came over a diddly 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 dong around down down there somewhere no down there down there somewhere I think and now we're here yeah bit of bit of walk mode up there that was very tufty very awkward easier to push there's no shame in walk mode right so we're gonna follow this uh, bridle way all the way around heading off over there heading off for the Blorange that's a hill by the way not orange Blorange just up at the other side of Abergavenny and then we're gonna drop down pick up the canal back into Hlamfoist car job done cracking right so far it's really nice around here there's got to be some more exploring by me because there's loads to explore love the bike I don't realize just how much I love that bike <laughs> it's ace right then from me from the town of Fords in a bit all right leaving Fords now extreme water traverse awesome Excellent! Oh, we've got some more. Just to make the uh, the ride ultra gnarly, got a water traverse. Yep! Okay, scores on the doors. 15.8 miles. And I'm on three bars of juice. So yeah, all going well. This could be a mistake. I'm going to go for it anyway. Excellent. Right, we turn left, right, sorry. And then there's a footpath just up there. We turn left and then plod on. Uh, ooh, arse. Right then. We got a chuck. Up there. Right, this doesn't look too good. I'm going to get to the, uh, the brow and then see how it is if it's like this all the way because we've got a fair trot of this and we'll have to make a decision oh bloody hell Andy bloody bloody hell <laughs> right then people decision time decision made right it's like this as far as the eye can see going over there and I'm not going to be pushing all through that because I've got about two miles or so and that is going to be knackering so I'm just going to go, just go back down over the brow, pick up the road, all the way down, pick up the Monmouth Sherman Brecon Canal and then take that all the way back in. Beaten by bloody, bloody, bloodiness. I can't complain because this is a footpath, not a bridleway, so. Anyway, but no, life's too short for me to, I've had enough of pushing through that crap. Anyway, been a cracking ride so far. Another quick viewage. It's come from over there. Coming around to uh, Blen Avon. You can just see some steam from the steam train. Straight down there. You've got Corn D and Penavan. And then Cribbin and all that good stuff. Absolutely stunning around here. And then just a couple of valleys over. You've got Mr. Mike Tar, the legend that is Mr. Mike Tar. Hi, Mike. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to go back to the road, follow it down canal back in. Catch you at the canal peeps. Bloody hell. <laughs> Beaten by Heather. Heather's tuftiness. Heather's tufty bushness needs trimmage. <laughs> yeah, it'd be all right if it's like this most of the way but it's bloody not. This is only a tiny part of it. <laughs> yeah, it's quite easy when you're going downhill. A pain in the fucking arse when you're going up. go is the road we'll chuck a left and it's just straight down about a mile or so two three to the canal and back in god damn you tufty heather <laughs> anyway all part of the adventure Straight down now, no turnings, all the way down to the canal. Turn left.
Oh, man on his phone. Right, here's the canal. That's the viewage. We're going to go over there, back to the car. Viewage down there. Right then, let's go. Another car coming. No fishing. So when you're on places like this, a towpath, you don't need any electrical assistance. It's just like pedalling a normal bike. So I think the scores on the doors. Uh, what we got? Uh, 19.3 miles, and I still got three bars of electrical petrol. I can say so. It's, if you don't need the assistance, just turn it off, and that's what's good about this bike. All right, so that's bridge 86. I think the, we, the one we want is 94 or 95, I think. So we've got a fair old trot along the canal. So this, by the way, is part of Cycle Route 49. Cycle Route 49, ladies and gentlemen. Afternoon. Yeah. I'm treating myself to a bit of eco blue. There we go, we've got Bridge 95, so we must be 96, I reckon. Anyway. That's the viewage. That's the skirid there with a the big gap in it. There's an old church at the top. Habergaveni. Not far. We're off and down. All right, this is just going to drop off the uh, the towpath now. That's really nice, that, isn't it? It's really cool. Right, that is a stair set of doom. It's very steep, and I value my skin and my my bones not broken, so I'm going to push down that. Dropping back to the car park now, it's just across the road. Ace ride, ace, ace ride. Okay. Stop the clock. Right, so there we go folks, what a cracking ride. Yeah, really pleased I've done that, and uh, I'm really chuffed that I've stood on the uh, stood above the site of the world's first railway viaduct. And to think that 15, about 15 metres below where I was, that's where it still is, and got, just got covered up with all the uh, industrial waste. Absolutely amazing. So, a uh, bit of a shame about the end, having to uh, cut that short because of the the heather but uh, life's too short for that crap. But yeah, so, yeah, really, really pleased. Absolutely cracking ride. Um, I think there's more to explore in the, uh, on the industrial side of the valleys. You know, taking some more of the heritage and it's just surprising, it's just amazing just to realize what an important player South Wales was in the industrial revolution. Right then, um, car park is just down there. This is the bridge where we joined and scores on the doors it's going to be about 23 miles by the time i've finished beauty of this bike is if you don't need the power you just turn it off and pedal it like a normal bike so so i've still got three bars left and it's going to be a 23 mile ride it would have been a bit more but i had to cut it short because of the bloody furnage fucking furnage right then stay tuned for the next one um, next week i'm on a two-day linear ride going from A to B, stopping over, the B to C, then catching a train back. So, if you want the early heads up before the video comes out, find me on Strava or Instagram and you'll see what I'm doing. Right then, please like, subscribe, do drop a comment, and until next week, in a bit peeps. <laughs>